All right, what we're gonna do is we're going to take this Eureka Math Sprint and turn it into a flippity uh, flashcard set. And uh, so this is a way that kids can practice these sprints digitally. And the first thing you wanna do is head on over to flippity.net and you're gonna look at the flashcards and we're gonna click on template. When you click on template, it will prompt you to make a copy. Just make sure you're signed into Google because this is gonna be leveraging Google Spreadsheets, all right? When you jump into your template, the first two things you always do with Flippity, the first thing, rename your document. And the second thing is go to file, publish to the web. Now you only have to publish it to the web one time and then you're done. Okay, so now as we look at this, uh, these are all like examples of things you could use. I don't need any of these because we're gonna be doing math problems. So go ahead and delete all of those out of there. And I'm actually gonna resize these a little bit just so they're not so wide. Um, what I would recommend doing, we're gonna take these problems, all right? And then we're gonna have the product of these two factors. The product will be on the back side, the product and uh, the factors will be on the front. I'm going to create another sheet. All right, and this is where I'm going to list those two factors. I'm gonna rename this problems. In column A, I'm going to put the first factor, all right, and in column B, the second one. All right, and this will make it much easier when we go to find the answer. We won't have to type that in. We can let the spreadsheet do that work for us. All right, so go ahead and type all of these into columns A and B, and I'll just do a couple of them, and you'll get the gist of this. All right, so there we go. I have a couple that I typed in. Those are the first handful. And what we're gonna do is go back to our demo sheet. And in this cell, A3, I want to write three, I think it was three times three, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, we're gonna start with an equal sign. Then I'm gonna click down into the problems sheet and I'm gonna click on cell A1. I wanna combine that with cell B1, but also I wanna put the multiplication symbol in between there. And the way we do that is with the and symbol. So I'm gonna do problems, uh, this A1, the and symbol, and I'm gonna do quote. Now here's the thing, with your multiplication symbol, do not use an X, okay? You want to actually search for the multiplication symbol and copy and paste that to your clipboard. Uh, the reason you wanna do this is because uh, if kids want these problems read to them, they don't want it to say three X three. Uh, likewise with the minus symbol, there's a difference between a minus symbol and a dash, make sure you're using the right one. All right, so now I'm gonna have this first problem, uh, first factor times, and I'm gonna use the and symbol again, and I'm gonna click on cell B1, and then I'll go ahead and press enter. Okay, for, uh, we want this to continue down, so just use your fill handle here and pull this down until you get, well, these, these don't make sense, so I'm just gonna delete these, okay? So there's the rest of your cards. In, on the back side here, I'm gonna do equals, I'm gonna come over here to problems, it's simply gonna be this cell times this cell and hit enter. And now you can double click your fill handle to get the rest of those. As you go through this, you're gonna see these different colors. You can change these however you see fit. You just can't have extra ones hanging off the back end, okay? You gotta delete those. Otherwise you're gonna get some blank flashcards. All right, come on over here to get the link. Now this is the link you will send to students. Uh, just send them a couple of reminders. You, if they want to turn on the audio, they can do that right here. All right. If they want to practice kind of like a quiz, they can do that here as well. Uh, and the way that I work through these flashcards is I always click this bottom button here um, and just it flips them over and goes to the next one. All right. Just remember, they don't want to shuffle them. That won't make sense because the problems get progressively harder.